Well, let's take a look inside a Sturmy Archer 8-speed gear hub and see what makes this thing tick. Some people think they're like black magic or something, but they're really quite simple devices once you understand a few basics. Here's the unit out of the hub shell. And here's the hub shell interior shot. You can see the ratchets on the far side there that uh, engage the pawls and drive the shell. Here, various parts, the input driver, which is in direct connection with the first stage, planetary gear stage, which is hidden by the second stage ring gear. The second stage planetary gear set is partially covered by the third stage ring gear. And a third stage planetary set is covered by the final drive output ring gear, which is part of the same unit that houses the output drive pawls. Spring loaded pawls that transmit the power to the ratchets inside the hub shell and propel the bike forward. So now we're going to strip this thing down and uh, take a look at what makes it go. So here we have the bare axle. We have a shifter connected. So if you watch carefully you can see the shift cam. The one that's visible here is the one that engages the second stage. The purpose of that shift cam is to engage the sun gear to the axle. Here we have the input driver with the cog attached. This is the first stage planet carrier. It connects directly to the input driver. This is the second stage showing the planetary side and here is the back of it showing the ring gear. That ring gear meshes with the planetary gears on stage one. Okay, here we have stage one and the driver assembled on the axle. I'm going to show you what happens here with the, uh, the sun gear disengaged from the axle. It is free to rotate with the planetary carrier. And when that happens, the planetary gears do not rotate. They simply are carried along with it. They don't come into the action at all. So first stage drives the second stage ring gear by means of the spring-loaded pawls at a one-to-one -one ratio. Alright, now we'll shift this thing to a gear that engages the sun gear to the axle. We'll go for fourth gear. Now the sun gear is affixed to the axle. When we turn the input, now the planetary gears rotate about the sun gear and when they're meshed with the ring gear on the second stage they will actually overdrive the second stage at a higher ratio. Alright so here we've got the sun gear disengaged from the axle just to demonstrate that the second stage and first stage are rotating at the same speed. Now we shift to a gear that engages the sun gear to the axle now you'll see second stage being overdriven by the first stage. You can hear the pawls ratcheting on the ring gear as the ring gear outruns the first stage. Now we've got the entire unit assembled showing what happens in first gear with all of the sun gears disengaged from the axle. All stages rotate together we have a drive ratio of one rotation input to one rotation output. In second gear, we engage the second stage sun gear to the axle. So second stage overdrives the third stage at a ratio of 1 to 1.3. In third gear, the third stage sun gear is engaged to the axle, which overdrives the final output at a ratio of 1 to 1.48. Notice the other three marks are all still lined up. In fourth gear, the first stage is engaged to the axle. 
you'll see the three marks on the left stay in alignment and they all outrun the, the driver. Final drive output 1 to 1.69. Okay, when we get to fifth gear, now we start engaging them in combination. So in fifth gear, we have second and third stages with the sun gears engaged to the axle. So if you watch, you'll see third stage outrunning second stage and the final drive outrunning third stage. The input driver and stage two turning together. Final drive output, one to 1.92. Sixth gear engages the first and second stages. You'll see third stage and the final drive stay in lockstep. Third stage outruns second stage. Second stage outruns the driver. Final output ratio, 1 to 2.2. Seventh gear, stage 1 and 3 are engaged to the axle. Center two marks stay together. Final drive outruns stage 3. Stage 2 outruns the input. Final drive ratio, 1 to 2.5. Eighth gear, all three stage sun gears are aged to the axle, so each stage will outrun the one before it. Final drive ratio here is 1 to 3.25. Here we'll watch carefully as I rotate the input one revolution. You'll see the output revolve once, twice, three times, we bring the mark around to where we started, and we've got about three and a quarter output revolutions for one input revolution. So there you have it. That's how this thing works. Fairly simple mechanical device. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.